wrestling. It's certainly a privilege and a pleasure for us to be in Canton, Ohio for this broadcast. It's also a privilege and a pleasure to introduce our next guest, the United States heavyweight champion and number one contender for the world title, the total package, Lex Luger. Around the world it has gone. And the big man has challenged unquestionably the greatest world champion of all time. It's a rivalry that's not parallel any unlike the Celtics and the Lakers, Notre Dame and Southern Cal. It's Luger and Flair, but it seems like every time that you have Flair in trouble, he gets help from someone. Specifically, I'm talking about Ole Anderson. What will it take to finally settle your feud with Flair once and for all? Well, first of all, it takes a little adrenaline. When I feel a crowd like this in Canton, Ohio, that gets my adrenaline flowing. And when my adrenaline starts flowing, I start thinking about a blonde-haired guy named Ric Flair. He calls himself the Nature Boy. He's a world heavyweight champion. When I think about that, I think about contracts. I think about world title matches. I think of opportunities to get his butt in the ring. And Jim Ross, there's one opportunity that I have never been afforded, and it's in my dreams. I've got steel around it. It's real sharp. It hurts, and it's called a steel cage. The total package Lex Luger has never, ever had the opportunity to get Ric Flair in a cage, one-on-one, -on -one, no items, outside interference, his whole career. Now, Ric Flair, I am issuing this challenge in front of these people here. And for everybody out there on national TV, and if you're a kind of man, you say you are, you'll take the challenge. And when I get you in the rack, inside the cage, and you're standing up with those lights, there's only one decision to be rendered, and that is a new world's heavyweight champion. Yeah! He's got a challenge, a cage match. We'll hear from Ric Flair and Jim Cornette later in the program, but right now let's go back down to Gary Capetta.